Measurements are integral to our everyday lives, but they can put us into risky and tricky situations or require someone else to help gauge those lengthy distances. But here's a change by Magpie Tech VH80. Now you can get out of that risky spot and don't need a helping hand to determine long distances. VH80 measures in not one, but two directions. From one press of a button, you can acquire the left, right, and total value at once, saving you precious time and energy on every move, and allowing you to work with greater efficiency by making you the focal point. Also, your measurements can be instantly updated to your smart device with our Sketch application, where you can design and plan for any projects. VH80's additional functions enable you to use continuous measuring mode to find midpoints, Pythagoras function to reach heights and calculate the area and volume of any space. Life made easier. VH80 by Magpie Tech. We take that extra step so you don't have to. Hello, this is Magpie Tech. I'm here to show you the VH80, our latest functional prototype. So we have it right here. You can see this is the on button. It turns on quickly. And you can see the two lasers showing on both sides. To take a measurement, simply press the on button again, like so. And there you go displays the measurement right here, and it's in meters. I can now show you some of the different functions of the VH80. All right, so the first button up top here is the memory button. If you click it once, you'll see the recorded measurements, and the VH80 records nine measurements, stores it in its memory, so you can see the first three there. And then if you click the memory button again, You'll see the next three, four, five, and six, and you can continue to click through like that. If you click the home button or on button, and then you press and hold the memory button, you can change between the bi-directional lasers, two lasers, to one laser now, including the base. So you can see it's just shooting out of one side. If you press and hold again, you'll switch to one direction, not including the base, so it'll come out of the other side. And if you press and hold again, you'll switch back to bi-directional lasers. So the classic two lasers that will give you lasers from both sides. All right, the next function that I'm gonna show you is continuous measurement. So to do continuous measurement, just press and hold the on button and then it will start measuring continuously from both sides or whatever feature you have enabled. And you can see now it's continuing to record. The measurement is changing even as I move my hand. And this feature is great for finding checkpoints or midpoints along the distance that you're measuring. And when you're ready to record the measurement, just simply press the on button again and it will store that measurement in your memory. The next function I'll show you is the menu unit button right here. So if you press this button once, you'll see that we're changing between measuring a simple distance to measuring an area represented by the square there. And the first measurement that's flashing is the width of the square. So if we take a measurement by pressing the on button, it records that measurement up in the top left. 
and then you can see that the height of the square starts flashing. So if we take another measurement, for the height it then records and calculates the area of the square. We can take other measurements by changing on the menu button. So next is a cube and that will calculate the volume by taking three measurements. We can calculate the area of a triangle. And we can also calculate the missing side of a triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. And an additional feature of this button, if you press and hold the menu unit button, you can change the units. So you see we can change between centimeters. You press again. We have the option of millimeters, inches, feet, yards, and then back to meters. And the last button I'll tell you about is the clear off button. So let's say you've taken a measurement like so and you want to get out of it, just hit clear. If you're looking at different recorded measurements in the memory function, you want to get back, just hit clear. And the other function of this button, if you press and hold, you power down the device, like so. Voila!